welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be explaining that how to get and install internet explorer back on your windows 10 and windows 11. now even many people they have the internet explorer but they are not able to open it after october 2023 update if you have any similar problem then make sure you watch the video till the end and you would be able to get internet explorer back with a proper running condition and if you find this video helpful then do not forget to like and subscribe so the very first thing that you will have to do you need to click on your windows search type inet ppl dot cpl then from the suggestion you have to click on this icon the internet properties will be up now here from the top menu option you have to click on program then click on manage ads on now here from the left hand menu option you will find toolbar and extension you will have to click on it then on the right hand side you have to look for a file that says ie to edge bho so what exactly happened that even if you install internet explorer it will be coming up with the microsoft edge that is another common problem that people are facing so if you want that it should not come with the microsoft edge and it should come up with internet explorer only then you can see the status has been enabled you will have to disable it but the disable option has been disabled here it's not been highlighted so you cannot enable or disable it from here so what you will have to do you need to close it then click on your window search type reg edit and from the suggestion you have to click on registry editor and then click on yes now here in the registry editor from the left in menu option you have to click on hk local machine double click on it then you will find software double click on it then you have to look for microsoft double click on it in the microsoft you have to look for windows so keep scrolling down and you will find the windows here double click on it now in windows you have to look for current version double click on it and in the current version you have to look for policies so again scroll down and you will find policies double click on it in the policies you will find ext that is for extension double click on it then you will find clsid click on it and then on the right hand side you will find this kind of entry just double click on it again and the value data will be one you have to change it and make it to zero once done click on ok and now you can close it so now this time if i again search for inet cpl dot cpl and hit the enter key then if i go to programs manage ads on and now here you can see the i2 edge bho has been automatically disabled okay so now if we install internet explorer it will be coming up with internet explorer only instead of microsoft edge okay so now you can close it so now let's see that how you can get your internet explorer and the first method is very easy you can click on the file explorer then you have to click on this pc local disk c then you have to look for program file x86 double click on it and here you'll find internet explorer double click on it and here you will find an application by the name i explore so you will have to look for the same one once you get it right click on it click on show more option in case if you are using windows 11 then hover up to send to and then click on desktop create shortcut and you will now see that the explorer icon has been created so what you can do you can make a right click on it click on rename and rename it to like internet explorer so now if i make a double click on it so this will be now coming up and in case if it is still comes up with microsoft edge then probably you will have to restart the computer so this was the first method in case if this doesn't work the next what you will have to do right click on your desktop or up to new click on text document then open the notepad and then you have to paste this kind of code that you will be getting in the description so you can copy and paste here once pasted you have to click on file then click on save as and you can just rename it as internet explorer dot vbs now this is the most important thing that you have to change the extension 
of this file will be dot vbs so you can type exactly as i'm typing and then in save as type you have to click on the drop down and choose it to all files now you can choose the location wherever you want to save and then you have to click on save now you can close it so now you'll find that a file this vbs file has been saved on your desktop now it looks little um, different so what we can do right click on it click on show more options then over up to send to and then click desktop create shortcut so once the shortcut has been created right click on the shortcut click on show more options then click on properties here you will find change icon so click on it and here from the icon you have to look for this icon of internet explorer select it click on ok click apply and click on ok and again we can rename it to like uh, internet explorer only and we can remove the rest of the part okay now you are all done and this time if you make a double click on it so you will find that it's coming up with internet explorer only without any kind of problem all right so now you can see that it's coming with internet explorer only and all the navigation menus are of internet explorer so that's all guys for today hopefully you will find this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye